All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to record any sound coming to your computer so you can use it for your personal projects, whether it be from a movie, internet video, or maybe even music. Totally on the up and up. What's well, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Low Nose where we go over audio, video, tech tips, and also I'd like to share my voiceover experiences with you as well. Mm. All right, okay, so today we are recording sounds from our computer straight into Audacity so we can use it for our personal projects, right? Go ahead, leave a like if you're not using this for any nefarious reasons, right? If you're new to the channel, go ahead, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Wait a second, who's, no one's still downloading, right? Like we're all, Everything's being streamed, right? So there's no lead to download, but we still want to use this. Never mind. All right, straight to the tutorial. Okay, so go ahead, open up Audacity if you don't have it. Once again, check out the link in the description below so you can download Audacity. It is free. We all love free. All right, so once you're in it, we're going to take a look at some key options here within Audacity. First, we'll took a, take a look at the microphone input, the, the, rec the mono and stereo recording channels, and also the speaker input. All right, now before we start on that, let's go ahead look at our Windows Sound Manager, and take a look at the playback devices and the recording devices. So within the playback devices, I want you to understand that what Audacity, see, Audacity sees here is a mirror of what is shown here. So whatever you have activated here will show up within Audacity. Okay, so I have several speaker sources. I have my USB audio codec. Um, that is, I have like a USB mixer that is plugged to my computer system. So that's what I use for my main speaker out. Um, I also have a Logitech gaming headset connected to it as well. Um, my computer has a sound, I'm, I'm sorry, my monitor has a sound card built into it. And also these are your typical motherboard sound options, the Realtek digital output. That's usually your, um, uh, like your stereo out of your motherboard audio. And then also you have the, uh, the optical out, which is like the optical laser out. And then of course recording, this shows all, all the microphones connected to your computer. I have the USB microphone that's connected through my mixer, USB mixer. Um, right now it is picking up my, my webcam microphone. And of course you have everything on the Logitech headset. And of course, uh, right here, this is the headset that I have connected. Um, I have another stereo, stereo headset connected into computer through the microphone jack in the front of the computer, just to give you a sense of what it's looking at. Okay, so we can add this. All right, let's go back to Audacity and we'll check out that we see the same things here. We see the USB Logitech headset. We see the microphone for the USB audio and also the microphone um, for the stereo out from the motherboard is connected right here. And also you have the option to record in mono or stereo and the speaker as well. All right, so let's take a look at speakers. Now, the idea here is to use whatever is coming out of your speakers and turn that into your microphone. So the computer essentially records off its own self. Whatever you have playing off the speaker, the computer will actually record that source into its own file. Okay, so let's go back to the Realtek. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna disconnect all of the headsets that I've connected to this so we have one main thing that's going on. All right, so everything's gone right now. It's just my USB microphone. Now, I have my actual USB microphone muted, but it's still going to re... The, the way this works out, um, just imagine it as... Give me a second here. I'll show you back here. You may not have this set up as me, but you probably have You probably have this, your Realtek Digital here. This would also show up within the microphone if that was being used. All right, so now once everything is connected, you want to match whatever source is coming from your speakers to the microphone. So if you have a USB speaker here, then you want the USB audio for this one. If you're using the Realtek or your sound card or maybe a headset speaker, then you want it to come to, into here as well. You want these two matching up. You want these two matching up. Okay, so now I'm gonna click on start monitoring. As you can see, we have no kind of levels coming in right now. This is kind of like just kind of line noise, um, motherboard noise that it's picking up. All right, so now I actually wanna create a project or I wanna record a sound. So what I am going to do is, let's just say I want to record a tire screech sound effect that I already have queued up here. All right, I will go ahead and I will just play it. Okay, so we can see that the computer is now actually picking it. If I did not have it on there, I would have complete silence in. We hear absolutely nothing 
coming from the actual um, device, so we'll, from the source. So we'll go back to our source. We'll click on monitoring. I'll try it again, and then I'll go ahead and I'll press the record button. Now that we're hot, I'll go ahead and press the, the sound effect. There we go. Okay, and then I can stop my recording, and then let's go ahead and clean this up. I'm just dragging over and then pressing delete. And then I can actually just go, and if I want to compress or add any kind of effects or normalization, I could do that, but I really don't have to do that. And I can go ahead and, let me go back up for you. I can go to File, Export Audio, and then we can call the file whatever we want. We'll call it FX. I will save it. Okay, and then I can actually bring that into my own personal session. And there we go. All right, now it doesn't, you can also use the same program, not just for what's coming off the web, but you can also use it on programs that you have natively on the program. So I'll go ahead and I will open up a video that I have right here. What's up guys, welcome back. Okay, we'll, do, we'll use that one and then I'll open up Audacity again. I'll delete that one. And then let's, let's go ahead, I'll start recording and it will start uh, recording from the, the actual file that I have on computer. Back to another episode of Low Nose, I am Low. And today is our... There we go. I, re I can record as much as I want and use whatever part that I need for my project. And then that's it. You, then you can use it for whatever you want to do. Of course, as always, the idea is on the up and up. All right, guys, if you find that video helpful, go ahead, leave a like. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos or don't miss any more videos coming out in the future. And also check me out on social media, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Facebook um, and leave me some comments guys let me know what you want me to show you if you have any tutorial questions or if you want me to create a tutorial for you let me know um, I'm more than willing to answer and help you out I'm always really good at answering your questions giving you feedback with other with whatever issues that you may ha have all right guys until next time I will see you in the next video go ahead don't stop creating your videos I'll see you in the next one bye with you as well you as well as well here, here it comes as well as well I should put that on t shirt as well. Goodbye. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Low Nose, where we go over audio, video, tech tips, and also want to share my voiceover experiences with you. You're on.